welcome back to my channel it's glory here if you're new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by don't forget to click the subscribe button and when you do please click the notification bell as well just so you know whenever i upload a new video and you stay updated in today's video i'm going to be talking as you know um i stay in istanbul turkey i'm currently studying in istanbul turkey i have some videos on istanbul turkey or my life in istanbul turkey so basically i'm just sharing with you guys what it's like to live in istanbul turkey as a foreigner because i'm obviously a foreigner you get me so in today's video i'm going to be telling you guys six must have app to help your life and to make life easier for you as a foreigner living in istanbul turkey so right now i'm going to share with you guys six apps that will actually help you live an easier life not easier life basically but just help you navigate around life in Istanbul Turkey I feel like I'm talking a lot so we're just going to go straight to the video so the first and most important app that I feel that you need is Google Maps Google Maps it's it's an app that basically directs you I feel like everyone knows about Google Maps right it's an app that basically directs you to where you're going to how you navigate around turkey it's needed it's needed guys because sometimes you want to go somewhere you already have the location but you don't know how to get there just open your google map and it's just going to be very easy to locate the place you also need google maps because sometimes there are some taxi drivers that want to play with you they want to be following ways that we just make your bill too high or your meter bill too high so they tend to follow the longer routes meanwhile the map can show you a shorter route so this helps google maps is like one of the most important thing and the next app i'm going to share with you guys is google translate guys guys i don't know between google maps and google translate i feel like google i don't know i think google maps google translate beats google maps because google translate is a lifesaver <laughs> honestly it's a lifesaver if you're in istanbul or in a country where they don't speak english as their first language i feel like you really need google translate because if you do not understand the language there's already language barrier and you don't know how to communicate what you want to say to people so you kind of need to download the app and there's a good thing about the app is google translate so the good thing about the app is i'm going to try to show you guys some things you can have a conversation with them you choose the language you want and you can click on conversation and you can speak out what you want to say so i'm going to show you an example so for example now i'm going to change it from english to turkish it's on english to turkish i'm going to click on conversation and say hello how are you so you see um this is basically an app that just guys it makes life easier for you because i would say depending on your location 70 percent of the people you would come across might not be able to understand like fluent english so you might need you would need the app to be able to have a conversation with them or explain what you're trying to say to them the third most important app on my list that i feel is the most important is a mode of transportation which is by taxi or uber well i heard uber is illegal here so if they catch you using it i don't know but now they stopped like the big box buses the mini buses you now use the taxi so if you order an uber it's a taxi that's going to come they just take you to your destination impute the price and then you leave so basically the buy taxi also is very similar to uber and it kind of shows you how much like a range or it rounds up how much like a particular amount a trip is going to be well it doesn't give it exact price but it gives you an idea of how much you're going to pay to the taxi guy to get to where you're going to so buy taxi is really important and uber i always use i use uber but i still have buy taxi on my phone so uber or buy taxi those are the two modes of taxi transportation so yes you need that to be able to call taxi like once you type in where you are and where you're going to a taxi is going to come and take you to your exact location so that's really important by taxi you should get that the next point is getir i think i think getir is the name 
<laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing it well. Getter, getter. I feel like getter would make you lazy to go out. Okay, well, it's needed when it's really cold because it's like shopping online for grocery stuff, like grocery shopping online. Basically, you can get anything from there from the app. The app enables you to shop online, but you have to put in your credit card details because I think you have to use your credit card to pay for it. You don't use cash. You use your credit card. So getter enables you to be able to shop for grocery shopping online like sanitary pads you could get food like spaghetti pasta rice like every anything you need basically like your home stuff the things you get from the grocery store yeah getter getter is the app for that if you do not feel like going out and i think it's it has an english app an english menu so or an english you can translate it to English or it's in English. I, I honestly do not know how to explain that. But yeah, you can turn the app to be English. So yeah, that's it. If you're someone who do not feel like going out or who do not like going out to the public or you just feel it's too cold to go out, download Get Your App, a lifesaver. And they come really fast, like less than 30 minutes. They come less than 30 minutes. Um, The next point or the next app I feel is needed is Yemek Sepeti. Yemek Sepeti is a lifesaver. Okay, this one, I use it. I'm guilty as charged. Like, I always use this app. Okay, not always. Not always. When I was in uni back in Cyprus and sometimes here, I actually do use Yemek Sepeti. Yemek Sepeti basically helps you order food and it comes within 40 or 50 minutes top. It can come earlier than 50 minutes, but 50 minutes is the top time it comes. You just download the app, you register your address, your name and your phone number and then you search for restaurants close to you and then you can see like the rest the list of restaurants and then you can order what you want the yemek sepeti enables you to be able to order food from any restaurants that is available on the app so yes that's it so if you don't feel like going to any restaurant if you don't feel like going out if you think it's too cold and you're hungry and you're too lazy to cook get the yemek sepeti app i feel like these people should come and sponsor me for like promoting their apps and stuff the next point is trendio trendio is an app it's basically like amazon i think you could yeah i could i could compare it to amazon i wouldn't compare it to amazon i'm not comparing it to amazon but i would compare it to amazon it's like the app where you just go search for anything and you find it i got my ring one of my ring lights from there i got a tripod from there i got um got to be glued spray from there i got my my work table from there so you guys can just order anything basically for it's more like an aliexpress amazon ebay type of thing but it's in turkey it's a turkish app trendy is the app for ordering things like home equipment electronic toiletries you can order shampoos from there you can order anything most of your home things you can order outfits clothes shoes bags you can order anything from there so yeah that's the app for trendy if you want to order for things that you cannot necessarily find around trendy all is the app for you and my last and final app is sahibiden sahibiden i hope i'm pronouncing this if you're turkish and i'm not pronouncing this well i'm really sorry i'm not turkish but sahibiden is the app to find apartment for real estate vehicles spare parts secondhand and new product um industrial and heavy equipment services private tutors job assistant seekers pets and livestock so basically you can find all of this and it's it has an English option so that's just the best honestly the houses I've lived in in Turkey in Istanbul I got them from Sahibiden mm, did I yeah I would you would just go to the real estate you choose the options you want like if you're looking for a two plus one three plus one anything you want you do it and then you see the agents number there and then you call them and ask them if the house is available so most of the time I use it for houses i don't use it for cars or anything because i'm not driving i don't have the money for a car to buy a car in turkey no so yes <laughs> sahibiden is the app for you and i think that's all six of them um i hope this video was really helpful so the to do a recap on the apps i've mentioned is google maps google translate get here yemek sepeti trend your and sahibiden so yes 
these are the six apps you must have as a foreigner that would make life easier for you as a foreigner living in Istanbul, Turkey or living in Turkey generally. I think most of these apps should work in other cities. I'm not very sure but for Istanbul, Turkey, I'm 100% sure these apps work. So yes, um, yeah, that's, that's it for the video. <laughs> I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this video was helpful to you. If you choose or decide to come to Turkey or move to Turkey, these apps would make life easier for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also comment if you stay in Istanbul, Turkey, if you visited Istanbul, Turkey and if you're visiting Istanbul, Turkey, would you use these apps? Have you used these apps? And what are your thoughts on these apps? Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Please click the subscribe button. Click it. <laughs> Thank you. If you guys would like to see how I start this the scarf let me know i'm going to make a video but i just recently made a scarf video so please check that out thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys